I wanted to go over my favorite top 10 starters. So let's jump right into it. At number 10, Chikorita. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Honestly, this Pokemon is hated in the community. No, 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 no! However, when I go and I look at Chikorita, I just see this little dinosaur with attitude. And now the gameplay from Gen 2 is not the reason I love this Pokemon. What the heck? It's actually mainly the fact of the anime. I absolutely loved Chikorita's uh, design approach. I love the fact that she is just like a tsundere girl from anime with Ash. And it's just something that has always stuck with me in my life. And it's just, it's awesome in my opinion. So moving on to number nine, Bulbasaur. Get There's something about a frog. Toad Pokemon that is grass type that nobody ever seems to kind of pick up on. I mean, it's just this cute little amalgamation and I love it. He's just adorable. Protect all Bulbasaurs. You literally can't go wrong picking them. And on top of that, Bulbasaur was one of my most used Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow, which was my first game. I used him plus my Pikachu. And you know, it's such a shame that I kept the Pikachu in the party, but you can't get rid of Pikachu in Pokemon Yellow. Now, Snivy is one of those Pokemon that, like, I really haven't played with. I have a couple on here, but I just remember him being in, I think it's Paul. I don't remember exactly who it was in the anime, but I have this, like, picture of Snivy just being this pompous, like, I'm better than everybody else, even though he's literally, like, easily the worst of the three starters in Gen 5. But I just love his design and attitude. There's something about him just like, yeah, boy, get out of my way. But no, I, I think that he's absolutely a wonderful design. And I think that like everybody should love a little bit more grass type in their life. Now, I know grass type is usually seen as the worst starter, but they have a lot of really cool designs. And I get it. Oh, they're, you know, they're fucking not good in the game, but their designs are really, really good overall, in my opinion. With number six, we have Trico. Holy cannoli. This man is one of those Pokemon where I fell in love with instantly, but that's only because I fell in love with Gen 3 instantly. It was the first time of uh, playing Pokemon with color for me. And on top of that, I had both Ruby and Sapphire. So I was able to get all the starters and I had a trade cable when I was a kid. I was like the G on the block. Everybody was coming to my house so we could trade. And, you know, somebody stole my Kyogre. But bar barred that, um, no, it was a really fun time. And I think that Trico is an honestly amazing Pokemon. He's adorable. He literally just looks like a little gecko. And if you've ever had a little gecko, they are the most cute things ever. They just, they're just adorable. They're not like the regular, like, good old big lizards that are ugly and like, Rah! they're like, hey, I'm adorable. All right, with number five, we have Rowlet. Now, this man, I actually never played Sun and Moon, but the reason I love his design is the full fact of, bro just looks like a Squishmallow, and he looks like I could bear hug him like this and just squeeze him as tight as I can. He looks like one of those big old Clefairies or Jigglypuffs right behind me, and it's just super duper fun. I literally don't understand why anybody would hate this man. He just looks precious. And you know what the weird thing is, is like owls are like one of the few creatures in the world that I absolutely despise. But when it comes to Pokemon, I guess they're absolutely okay. All right. And we have number five, Oshuit. Now, this is another one of those Pokemon that I really haven't used. I don't really know anything about in the game, but I absolutely just love him. He's like a water doggo panda looking thing. And he's just cute. And it's another one of those designs where you're just like, I must protect it. It's so cute and adorable that it's like, wow, let me hug you, you know? Now we're getting into the top four. Oh boy. All right. Can you guess what is on the top four? Number four, Totodile. Now, I love Totodile. Pokemon Coliseum holds some very special places in my heart, and I know you get a croconaw on it, but that is where my uh, Totodile journey actually started. And once I learned that uh, Totodile was part of the Pokemon Crystal, and I got to play Pokemon Crystal, and I got a Totodile, I love Totodile. There's something about a little mini alligator that just goes around and chomps things that I absolutely love. 
And then not to mention, he evolves into this ginormous badass crocodile. Like, he's just a bitey boy. And he's like the original bitey boy. That's the best part. Bro, he just wants to chomp on things and give him what he wants. Let him bite. Number three, Piplup. All right, gamers, I get it. There's no fire types on this list, but Piplup is easily one of my favorite Pokemon. It's only because I always loved Penguins. I grew up and I watched Happy Feet a bunch, and uh, I just had this thing for Penguins. So when a Penguin was in Pokemon, I lost my shit. And honestly, Empoleon has some of the coolest designs. And I know I didn't go over all the tier three evolutions for some of the other Pokemon, but I'm going to be honest. The tier three evolutions suck. It's all about the starters. Anyways. Um, moving on to our number two spot on this list, the only fire type on this list, Torchic. Now, if you've played Gen 3, you understand. If you grew up in the same time zone as I did, you'll understand the next two choices. Torchic is easily one of the coolest Pokemon. Not only does it have some of the coolest movesets like Blaze Kick for the first time, it was a firefighting Pokemon, the first ever. And it was honestly one of the coolest things ever. And it's just something I can't shake as a person. Now it's overused and blah, 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 blah. And I'm not a big fan of a lot of the later designs on fire Pokemon, but it's just a really cool Pokemon. And on top of that, who doesn't love some kicking chicken? And last but not least, the best Pokemon in all of video game history. It's the man, the myth, the legend, the axolotl king himself, Mudkip. Now, this man is easily the best Pokemon. I'm sorry. In Gen 3, not only is he the speedrunner's dream, he's the casual player's love. Bro, he is just super duper precious and everybody deserves a Mudkip. If Pokemon were real life, we all deserved a Mudkip. It's as simple as that. He is the best by far stat-wise. He is the best by design-wise. He is adorable. And on top of that, who doesn't love axolotls? They're adorable. Anyways, with that, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the time and effort you guys decided to put out of your day to come over and hang out on the channel. So I really hope all of you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys around and hopefully uh, this video does well so I can continue trying to revitalize the Pokemon channel and I'll see you around.